Yeah, don't worry. If I had merch of myself, I would always shout it out. Like I'd be like, "Yo, buy my shirt. It's amazing." You mean merch that you can find merch like the ones you can find at prowrestlingtees.com/ftitm? Yes, cuz you know, we know exactly that like first thing in the morning merch will get you late. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of a broski and a hosty. I thought we were done, but apparently we're not. And I'm here joined by my faithful co-host who would never leave me, unlike every other woman in my life. Wow. <laughs> that took a fucking turn. <laughs> Can you chill, please? I'm here with Mel. Mel, how are you? How was your Christmas? How was your New Year's? Did you have a good one? Did you have a bad one? Did you have a tragic one? What went down? I almost had a tragic one. T tell me. I love tragedy. Tragedy, I can use a really graphic thumbnail. We could get people to come in here and listen to what horrible things happened to you. No, like I almost legitimately died. Like for real? Like for real. What happened? Well, um, you know your girl's been fucking <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's really where the story starts. Okay. All right, but, so can, uh, all right, so let's just recap so far for those who just joined us. Uh, <laughs> my girl has been fucking a lot, apparently. Uh, so go ahead, continue, <laughs> continue with the story. So, yeah, I've been fucking a lot, and my dumb ass doesn't know when to pee. So, you know you're supposed to pee after sex, right? Yeah, I do know that. It, uh, avo it, it avoids urinary tract infections and, and yeah. uh, different, different annoying, itchy <laughs> issues with your genitalia. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I'm a dumbass, yep, and I hate yep. peeing because it makes too much sound. <laughs> and uh, I live with two other roommates, so, you know, I, I don't like having sex because I'm loud as fuck. And uh, I hate peeing because I'm loud as fuck, too. <laughs> I never heard anybody complain about being a loud peer. Oh, I'm, I go <laughs> pee, but I'm a loud peer. It's, it's a really big issue in my life. I'm very embarrassed by it. Yeah, first world problem, am I right? You're so fucking weird. So, you know, I don't go pee after I have sex because I'm already being loud enough. I don't want to bother people with my peeing, too. So, you know, I keep minding my own business. At some point, my pee burns, and I'm like, it's oh. okay. I'm going to drink water. Everything's going to be good. <laughs> like, I don't drink water. The fuck you think I am? What the fuck? Like, I keep... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just want to recap. I just want to unpack what you just said. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're like, oh... <laughs> my vagina's burning. Let me drink some water. That'll put out the fire. That's not how biology works, Mel. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, but I thought like drinking water would like help to flush everything out of what, my. What did you system, think? Did okay? you think you're like, oh, all this, all this hot pee is inside of me? Maybe if I drink something cold, I'll pee cold. What the fuck? <laughs> Go back to school. But wait, because I'm retarded. I was like, no, you don't say. I don't fucking drink water in life, but Coca Cola is the same thing, right? <sighs> so I drink my Coca Cola. Fun fact caffeine irritates your bladder, too. So, <laughs> you know, I mind my own business. I fucking like forget about it, even though like I start a new job. My pee still fucking hurts. I need to pee every fucking 1.5 seconds. But I'm like, everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm a grown woman. It's going to fix itself. Does it matter if my vagina's itchy and burning? It'll fix itself. My God. Yeah. Like, everything's good. Like, no, I'm a no wonder, clothes. no wonder your boyfriend keeps you on a tight leash. Because <laughs> I'm fucking retarded to be on my own. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, you know, I keep minding my own business. Then I quit my job because my fucking health is going downhill and I cannot figure out why the fuck it's going downhill. So, you know, time passes. Everything, like, is okay. Like, it's not go. It's nothing. not great, but it's not, like, fucking <laughs> bad. Like, I'm going to kill myself, nothing, you know? Nothing fell off. You're still hanging in there. You're still good. Yeah, All exactly. Right. Like, there's nothing, like, to worry about. Like, my pee burns. Everything's good. So, you know, I keep living. And uh, at some point, like, uh, I like I feel this weird pain in my chest. So I'm like, nothing to worry about. I'm going to drink water. It's going to be good. Because, you know, that's the logic. I don't drink enough water. That's my point in life. Apparently. Okay? 
So I start working out. I drink more water. I'm like, it's going to be good in two days. Fun fact, it wasn't it. Okay. <laughs> like, I try to eat. I cannot fucking eat because I puke everything. So I assume I'm pregnant. So I'm like, okay. I'm oh, gonna dear. You said like, that's my logic. My pee burns. I cannot keep food. I'm pregnant. That's it. <laughs> so that's your morning sickness coming into effect. So um, uh -oh. I did a pregnancy test. Uh-oh. I'm not pregnant. Oh! Like, oh, okay, so I'm just puking like a retard. Fine. Maybe it's my body telling me I'm getting gaining weight or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's, you know. that's what happens when you gain weight. You start burning by the, in the vagina and vomiting <laughs> everywhere profusely. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Did you pay attention at all in biology? Do you know anything about your own body and how it works? Fun fact, I failed biology. And <laughs> yeah, we all know no why shit. now. No shit, you failed biology. <laughs> so, you know, my dumbass, I'm, I'm still like, yo, I'm gonna drink water. It's gonna be good. So, oh, okay. I still feel this pain in my chest. So, I, I look at my boyfriend, I'm like, oh, maybe I'm allergic to something. Let's go to the ER, and they're gonna try to figure what the fuck is wrong with me. So, we go to the ER, they were like, Oh, I think you're having like an allergic reaction to like your patch. Cause I don't tell them that my pee is burning. Cause I don't want to be like, yo, maybe I have gonorrhea or some shit. That, but so, isn't that the whole reason why you went to the hospital to find out why you were burning? No, I went to the hospital because of my chest pain. Okay, I didn't oh, okay. tell and nobody I had like burning pee. Cause I was like, that's none of their business. That Wait, love so is going out of my vagina right now. Oh God, that was graphic. Uh, so. <laughs> They told you it's because of the patch. What patch? A nicotine patch? No, it's the patch so uh, I don't get pregnant. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know they had... See, I just pull out. That's the best contraceptive method is just pulling out. I don't worry about pills or condoms. The well, only, The no. only time I ever got a girl pregnant is because the fucking com condom broke. And I've never gotten anyone pregnant by pulling out. You know why? Do you know why, Mel? I've never gotten Pull anyone pregnant. Pull out game strong. Do you know? Well, there's that. Thank you. I'm I'm glad Rio recognized Rio. But the thing is, is I don't see how anybody could come inside of a girl because you feel that shit coming from a mile away, a mile away. So if well, someone ever comes in you, my boyfriend feels because I think he's retarded or some shit. No, nah, he's just. It feels better if you come inside. No, it's because the pussy too good. He cannot oh. contain himself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You should have clapped to make it real authentic when you had said that. I'm holding a cigarette. Do you really want to risk me burning no, myself? No, 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 no. God knows enough parts of you are burning already. All right, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. So you get to the hospital. You're, you're keeping secrets from them about your condition. Yeah. Uh, so what, what happens next? So then they check my heart. They're like, okay, your heart's beating cool, so it's fine. Like, you're not going to have a cardiac arrest. So I'm well, like, that's good news. okay, that's good. Like, I'm not going to die from that. But um, I'm still in pain, so do something. So they do check something. my heart. They're like, maybe you have lung cancer or some shit. I'm like, oh, shit, fam. What? So they check my lungs. They're like, your lungs are all good. I'm like, you lying because I've been smoking for like 10 years. So, okay, like, aside the lies, is something up? And they're like, no, maybe it's just an allergic reaction. Like, chill, fam. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it off then. So I remove my patch. I'm like, everything's going to be good now. I drink water. I don't have the patch. I work out. Like, nothing to worry about. I, dr I drink I, water. I everything's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, water's the solution. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm sorry. I, I know I keep bringing up the water. I'm just really hung up on the, oh, I'll just drink, I'll, I'll drink water. It's good. I'll be fine. <laughs> Water cures. Like, I have cancer. I'm gonna drink water. It's yeah. gonna kill that shit, okay? Big old sip. Give me a two liter of fucking water. I'll chug it. Cancer gone. Move on with my day. Yep. Yeah, that, so, sounds, like, that sounds like something. Uh, oh, somebody on Twitter. Oh, it's you. I was gonna say, someone on Twitter named Classy Cunt just followed me. It's me. But, uh, yeah, so... Basically, after that, I, I came back home. I was like, okay, everything's going to be good, right? But uh, little did I know, like, less than a week later, I keep puking, but more. Like, I puke water. I puke Oh, everything. no, not your water. Yeah, yeah, like, I oh, puke the water no. I drink. So I'm like, okay, something's up. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. I'm like, I cannot stay hydrated. I cannot poop. My vagina's burning. Like, what the fuck? But, you know, I told my boyfriend, he's like, chill, babe. It's going to be good. Like, we got this. 
Like it's just a flu or like something. He's like, I'm my, like, yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe I'm sick because I dress like a hoe and vagina fucking burn. No, I didn't tell him about my burning vagina. Oh, he didn't know. Yeah. All right. I thought you were just keeping secrets from the doctor. Apparently, you're keeping secrets from the patriarchy as well. All right. Yes. So, you know, <coughs> I tell him about my JJ situation. So, um, you know, I keep living. And then I start to have a fever and shiver and all that shit. So, I'm like, so okay, maybe it's, maybe it's a cold. So, you're maybe definitely, cold. at this point, your body is definitely breaking down. You're starting to slip into some sort of uh, hallucination. You're not too sure who you are anymore. Th well, at what point do you realize that, oh dear, I probably should stop fucking around and maybe... Okay. The point where I, I'm like, okay, something's up. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's like when I cannot fucking breathe properly. Like even I don't even want to get up to go get my pack of smokes at the end of the bed. Right. Like... The only things I do is lay in bed or I go to the bathtub to, like, take a nice warm bath to, like, keep myself warm right. how and many, then go back to my bed. How many baths did you take that day? Yo, I took, like, four baths. <laughs> like, you're, maybe more. Your hot water bill is going to be through the roof. Yo, I swear, I wouldn't sleep for three fucking days. I wouldn't Jesus. eat. I wouldn't do anything. Like, my body was shutting down. So, at this point, like, I cannot even stand because, like, my legs are shaky and everything. So, I'm like, okay, yes, something's fucked up. Like, what the fuck? Like, I tell my boyfriend, like, buy me a Gatorade. He's like, that's not going to do anything. Buy I'm like, five. fuck you. <laughs> Gatorade is water, is super water. Get me some Gatorade. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, Gatorade's going to keep me hydrated. Like, that's just for <laughs> oh people God. who do sports. Gatorade's not going to work. <laughs> So I drink my Gatorade, I fucking vomit that shit, like projectile vomit that shit. I so better. my boyfriend, like, he's gone for work after I started drinking my Gatorade. So he doesn't know I've been projectile vomiting. So I call him, and he's like, the fuck, I'm at work. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, but, um... But if, you don't, if yeah. you don't come get me, by the time you get home, there's a good chance I'll be dead. No, I, like, I don't even know I'm dying, because, like, I'm stupid. Right. So I'm just like, we got to do something because, like, I feel like something is really going bad. He's <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to hit up my cousin. He's going to bring you to the hospital. So I'm like, okay, I, I, I trust you, fam. So uh, <laughs> plot twist, the cousin just lives, like, literally the bedroom next to mine. Oh, well, there you go. So why didn't you just go talk to him? So he, he comes in my bedroom. Yeah. Well, at first he's uncomfortable because, like, you know, like... We don't go in each other's bedroom usually. Well, that makes that's sense. Weird. So he comes to see me. He's like, "Oh shit, you look really bad." <laughs> and I'm like, "I know, thank you." You're like, "Thanks for the pep talk, and, dick." Uh, yeah, exactly. Like you don't know how to talk to women. Shut the fuck up. That's why you're single. But um. <laughs> Jesus, you know so, he's there to help you, right? Yeah, but then he's like, "Okay, let's get you dressed. Let's bring your shit." And we, we go into the hospital. So he calls a cab. He helps me put on my boots and everything. We go to the hospital. And then I tell the lady, like, yo, I've been puking and all that shit. And she was like, hmm, that's not, that's not good. Get so out of my car. Michaels, and she's like, you know, you're like oddly dehydrated. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. I've been puking a lot. She's like, no, like, like, we need to plug you to something right now. She's like, I'm we, like, oh, we can see your soul leaving your body. You need help. <laughs> yeah, like to that point. And I like, <laughs> mind you, I haven't looked at myself in days because like, fam, I, I'm not seeing properly. I blame the fact that I'm not wearing my glasses, but like it was worse than usual. Like I couldn't stand like I couldn't eat. Jesus like, no Christ. So like they plug me on like all sorts of meds. They do blood tests. They do pee tests. They do all that those tests. Like they even made me put a thing up my ass. Ooh. No, it was no fun. Did okay. You, did you enjoy it? No, not at all. My oh. butthole was dry as fuck. Oh, they didn't lube it. No, they didn't lube it. What? Yo, that's common courtesy. You're gonna stick something into someone else's butthole. You give it a little bit of lube. You know, a little TLC, a little tender Thank loving care. But, you know, my, my nurse, he was really sweet. He, like, made everything. Before even the doctor told him what to do, he knew what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. Nurses I had a really, really bad kidney infection, and I have anemia. Jesus. 
So Which you... makes that my body cannot heal itself from a fucking cold. Okay, like my uh... body's too weak to fight a cold. So imagine a kidney infection. Fucking fragile females. Yo, I swear to God, like dead ass like he looks at me he's like why did you wait so long i was like well i tried drinking water <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at me dead ass he's like oh my god that bitch that bitch well, is well yeah well yeah <laughs> like i swear at that moment he lost faith in humanity yeah that's when he was like i don't even know why i became a doctor These people yeah he's like fuck idiots. that like i'm gonna leave he's like, i don't want to <laughs> save this bitch <laughs> yo so he's like you know what just lay relax we're taking care of you so i'm like okay but can i leave like soon because i have other shit to do you know i'm trying to look for a job and shit <laughs> and he's like oh well y you are dying so uh can you be fucking grateful <laughs> yeah for real jeez come on mel so i'm like okay 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 fine i'm gonna shut the fuck up and lay here until you tell me i can leave but Mind you, like, I hate hospitals, I hate doctors, I hate needles, I hate a lot of things in life, other what? than myself. Hospitals I get, why do you hate doctors? Because they're scary, okay? They put things up my butt without mm, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sorry I even questioned that. That's a completely valid reason. If someone put something up my butt without lube, I would be afraid of them, too. Exactly. Like... Fair enough. Hashtag me, too. So, no, don't. <laughs> Is this your me, too moment? Yeah, that's my me too moment. That's what I'm calling the episode. Mel has a me too moment. <laughs> Hashtag me too. <laughs> I'm going to write that down in my notes so my stoner brain doesn't forget that title. That's a good title. But for real, so I'm just there, like, in the hospital, like, thinking, trying to process everything, you know? Right. Like, I'm like, yo, I should be grateful that he took me to the hospital because I could, I was like a day away from death. And like, I would have died in the bathtub eventually because it was the only place where I felt good. So like, someone would have found me dead and naked. Like, just imagine how uncomfortable everyone would have been. Like, even ghost me would have cringed. Yeah, ghost you would have been hev levitating over your body like, son, look at this pathetic bitch dead in the bath. Exactly, like my ancestors would have like spat on me or some shit. They would have been like, no, you don't even come to like heaven with us. Cause, no. like, fuck you. Or maybe you could go to heaven, but you're not allowed inside the gates. Yeah, they just look at me like from the gates. They're like, little fucking loser, you died naked, lamau. <laughs> lamau, Jesus. So, I mean, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you didn't die. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, but like I had like the worst fucking day at this hospital. The first day was the worst. It was absolute shit. What ho what hospitals did you go to? Let's throw some shade. Notre Dame. Oh, Notre Dame's terrible. But like everyone wait. was really sweet to me. Yeah, they're A nice. A nurse just showed me like forever. a secret passageway to go out to smoke. Oh, not yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, that's a good passage. It's, it's important to know where all like, the passages are. Like, she was really sweet. She came with me outside to for a cigarette. Like, she, I know she's not supposed to, but, like, you know. Like, bitch, I needed someone to push my fucking wheelchair. Oh, so, my God. You should have called me. I would have loved to push your wheelchair. Fuck you. <laughs> right down the fucking <laughs> stairs. Oh, my God. But for real, it was, like, well, at first they put well, me in a room with this old bitch, okay? Oh. I'm going to call her an old fucking bitch because she was... My God, like, my God, did you hear the way you said bitch? Like, there was that big guttural B, that bitch. Like, you meant that. No, like, for real, she was a bitch. Like, I swear on my life. Okay, well, why was she a bitch? Why was your roommate at the hospital a bitch? Maybe it's because she was sick? Did you ever consider that, Mel? No, not because she was sick. Okay. Like, I swear, she was only there because she had to do a colonoscopy, like, the next day. Oh, so why didn't you bond with her? You both had to have stuff shoved up your rectum. No, 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 no! Wait, okay? Okay. Like, at first, I go in the room. Okay. Everything's cool. Like, everything's fine. She greets me. I'm like, hello. But then she starts doing weird shit. Like, she keeps moving around the fucking room like a crazy person. But mind you, it's 11 p.m. by that time, okay? All right. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get mad. Like, she's doing whatever the fuck she has to, you know? Like, you, like, like walking around the, the room, you mean? Or just like yeah. moving so in her bed. The room, banging her fucking like um ivy stick. Right. Like all over the place. She would bang it so fucking hard on my bed. 
And like she would close the curtains like between our beds right. so we don't see each other. But I was okay with that because I was like, okay, you give me my privacy. That's good. Well, but why, that's the point. Yeah. Would you want that? Cur- I, I wouldn't want that curtain to be open, especially not in the hospital. You're all sick and shit. Yeah. So oh. I'm, I'm like, okay. It's good. Like, I like you for doing that. Thank you. You're a sweetheart. All right. So but- you're, give, you're giving her points where she deserves. You're being fair. Yeah. All right. So um, at some point, she's like, I'm sorry if I'm being loud. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I have a four-year-old son. I'm used to being, like, you know, awake and shit. Like, so it's good. She's like, oh, you have a kid. I'm like, yeah. She's like, how old are you? Uh-oh. I'm like, oh, I'm, Uh-oh. I'm 21. She's like, oh, that's cute. You guys are going to grow up together. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this bitch. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. What a sassy old broad. Yo, at that point, I'm like, I'm not fucking with her. Like, I'm not. Did you, like, start, did you start clapping? I don't even fucking look at her. Like, she doesn't deserve my attention because oh, she's a cunt, okay? Oh, shit. She hit her nerve, didn't she? Oh, Oh, boy. So, mind you, she keeps on getting up, banging her shit all over the room. The nurse keeps coming in to be like, yo, go the fuck to sleep. Because tomorrow you're waking up early and that's none of my business, but you should sleep. So, she's like, no, okay. Like, she keeps calling the nurse to remove her IV and shit. And the nurse is like, no, fuck you. You keeping that shit in because that's what you got to do, you know? Right. So, but she keeps calling the fucking nurse for that. So, I'm like... Okay, you're annoying. I hate you. <laughs> so, you know, she keeps doing that shit. I'm still really weak. I still cannot stand. I still cannot do much. But I need to pee. You know? Right. But I don't complain. I just stay laying down with my pee emergency. Well, we've seen you've we've clearly seen that you can take quite a bit before you actually do anything about it. So, I can only imagine when you have to pee that like when you go pee, it's because if someone looks at you the wrong way, you'll pee your pants. Yeah, exactly. So, right. I'm like Mm, bitch. So, um, at some point, I'm like, I'm gonna go pee. So I, you know, I start trying to make a move to go pee, but it's taking me fucking forever because my body's not cooperating at that point. So I'm like, okay, well, fuck you too, body. So you know, I try to do me and you right. know my own shit. So I, I try to get up, but this bitch, fucking Sonic, you should bolt to the bathroom. <laughs> what? So she like raced you? She fucking raced me to the bathroom. She, she knew the she knew the way. She knew the way. Yes, yeah, she knew that fucking way. Okay. She knew the way to the bathroom, brother. Yo. brother to the bathroom. And I swear, my bed was like literally, like glued to the fucking bathroom. So it took me like two seconds if I was okay to go there. Right. But since I wasn't, it took me like two minutes. Oh. So she fucking used and bolts to the bathroom. <laughs> Like, I can hear everything that oh. goes on in the bathroom. And she's legit standing there. She's not pooping. She's not peeing. Well, she's just standing in the bathroom. How do you know she's standing? Maybe Because I fucking know. Because if she sat down, like, our, like, toilet seat was kind of shaky. So he would do, the, like, a weird fucking noise right, of plastic right. knocking against porcelain. Right. So I know she's not sitting on the fucking seat. At some point, she gets out. She's like, sorry, it took a while. I'm like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm just here about to piss myself, but just go on. Just keep standing there. Exactly. So I go I go to the bathroom finally. I pee. I'm feeling good now. My bladder is empty. Now it takes me a moment to get the fuck up from the fucking seat because I'm fucking weak. So, you know, I do my best. I, I grab on the little bars they have to, like, get up and push myself. But, you know, I cannot even do one push-up. So, like... Jeez, you're like an old lady. Yeah, I'm, I was weaker than the fucking lady. She, if she wanted to square up at that moment, <laughs> she would. Have, she yeah. had a good chance of taking you out. But wait, this bitch went to like to that point. Okay, like she oh. was ready to fucking square up. What? Like she keeps on calling the nurse. The nurse gets annoyed. She's like, "Well, listen here, Miss Rachel, you better get your ass to sleep and stop calling me. I'm not taking out your IV." And like this bitch got so insulted. Uh oh. Like, then the second nurses come to, like, you know, switch of shift. So we get new nurses. They, they come to the room. They're like, oh, you're Miss Noel. Hi, nice to meet you and everything. So I'm like, oh, hi. I'm okay. I'm dying. <laughs> Can you change my IV bag? It's empty. I don't want to die. And they're like, okay, we'll be right back. So, you know, they, they do that shit. So right. they take 
my IV, then they replace it with a new one. Then, Miss Rachel, she wants a new IV too. And then she pulls out her fucking trump card of, why did the like young lady can have a new one and I cannot? Like, well, because fuck you. That's why mine was empty. That's why I got a new one. Yours is not even empty. Stop complaining. Because fuck you. That's why. Yeah. And at some point, like, the nurse got so irritated. Like, they're mad because she, she threw out racial slurs to our African American nurse. Oh, no. What did she say? And the, did... Oh, she said some racist shit. I cannot remember pro- properly, but, like, she got racist real quick. So I was like, mm, bitch. How dare she? And, uh, like, me and the nurse were looking at each other like, mm, this bitch did not. So, you know, like, oh. we keep living. At oh. some point, all I see is some red on the floor from outside the curtain, like, the under the curtains. Fuck? Like, I can see it on, on the floor oh from my her God. side. Did I'm she like, just rip out her IV? Yo, um, I thought she had her period for a moment. I was like, but she's too old. Like, she, she's like my ancestor or some shit. And then she's like, she screams at me. She's like, can you call the fucking nurse? At first, I don't respond. Because, like, they blocked her fucking button. Because she was that, that annoying, okay? To the point that they shut down her button. Jeez. She lost button so, privileges. Like, yo, I didn't even respond at first. And then she screams. Oh, she's dear. like, call the fucking nurse right now. So, oh, dead ass, I turn on my bed. Like, with all the adrenaline of my little body. And I look at her, I pull off the curtain, I realize the fuck she just did. I look at her with my crazy eyes, I'm like, you're insane, I'm going to, I'm calling the fucking nurse, and I'm getting you out of this room. So did she rip so, out, she ripped out her IV? Yes, yeah, she did. What the fuck? She fucking did. Ah, ah. Like, I was like, how, how, just how, like, why? Like, why are you being like this? Mm. <laughs> so I called the nurse, like, I pressed the button, like, my life is depending on it. I could just hold, I could just picture you, like, your eyes are huge sitting in your bed. You're just, like, looking at this woman whose arm is pissing blood. You're like, why are you like this? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so then, like, my, you're like, it's, a, it's about midnight, okay? It's about fucking midnight. I'm tired. I haven't slept in days. I haven't eaten in days or anything. So, you, you know, I call the nurse, and then they keep... barge in the room. They're like, what the fuck is going on? And I just point. I just point <laughs> at Miss Rachel. I'm like, look at this shit. And, you know, my lady nurse looks at me. She's like, she's done with life at this point. I think she regretted being a nurse at that moment. Yeah, no shit. Can't like, really... she looked at me with, like, all the eyes that were like, save me, please. She's like, <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me again. Exactly. And <laughs> I just, I look at her, I'm like... I feel you. So I get up. I walk to the front desk of like my um my floor. I sit down. The nurses look at me funny. They're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "She ripped out her IV." They're like, "Oh no." I'm like, "Oh yeah." Like, do something, please. They're like, "You know what? We're gonna switch you to a private room." I'm like, "Oh shit." Oh, oh damn. There's what? That, there's that sweet Canadian healthcare coming into effect. Exactly. Like, I didn't pay for anything, by the way, while I was there. Well, like, I'm obviously. just, everything was free. Fuck you, Americans. And, um. <laughs> How, hey, hey, don't even start, okay? Don't even <laughs> start with that shit. Because if you were in America, you would have been in the hospital for 20 minutes. They would have looked at you, they would have fixed you, they would have sent you home. It would have cost you $35,000, but they would have had you out of there in 35 minutes. Here, you're going to sit there for fucking 15 hours in the waiting room with other people who are dying around you. Everybody's miserable. Everybody wants to be somewhere else. And then you just have to sit in the waiting room because socialist health care doesn't work. I didn't buy a, so- a shirt that says socialism is for fags for nothing. Okay. Well, actually, I sat in the emergency room for like 10 minutes. Yeah, but that's because you were dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, life hack to not wait forever. Well, here, yeah, let, let's, give, let's give everybody a, a little life hack. If ever you have to go to the hospital in Canada and you go to the emergency room, when they ask you on a scale of 1 to 10 how bad you feel, tell them 14 and you won't wait at all. <laughs> and, oh, and, yeah. t- and tell them that you have issues with your heart. If you have issues yeah. with your heart, man, you, they don't even wait. You don't even take your clothes off. They pick you up. And they put you on the fucking stretcher. They get you out of there quick. Can't have people dying in the fucking reception area. Yeah. 
I know. Yeah, so that's a hack. That's what I do. It's it's <laughs> awful, but that's what I do because I don't want to wait. Because if you don't, then you sit there and you wait for fucking ever. And yeah, yeah but I, there was more drama at the hospital after it's that. It's not done yet. Oh my no. god! Please continue. I'll shut up. Go on. Wait, the hospital was a shit show for me because like of course, you know, like, it's a Canadian hospital. Of course, it was a shit show. You know, like my boyfriend came briefly while I was still in the ER, so he was like, "Okay, like." Call me when you need me to pick you up. So I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, just go to sleep because you work tomorrow. Right. So you don't mind me. I'll so. just I'll just die here quietly on my own. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, like when I'm in my room, I'm like, oh shit, I haven't called him yet. So let me call him. So I call him. It's like midnight. He's like, the fuck? He's like, like can I call you? Like, what midnight? He's I'm like, like no, no, actually, they're keeping me for some time. He's like, what? He's I'm like, like, yeah, I'm in the private room. He's like, can you call me back later? I'm playing in HL. <laughs> no, he was not playing an it's HL. The pl okay? It's the playoffs, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, you know, from that, everything's fine. He's, like, a bit freaking out. He's like, okay, I don't know what to do. I'm uncomfortable. I'm like, it's okay. I'm uncomfortable, too. Right. So, you know, everything's fine. And then the next day, I'm like, hey, I should call my mom to tell her her daughter's dying. <laughs> hey, you should probably let your mom know. You know. You already know where this is going. Yeah, I do. I do. I got a hospitalized on the 21st of December. I'm just telling you that for information, okay? Okay. So, you know, I hit her up. It's the 22nd of December. So I'm like, hey, Ma. She's like, hey, how you doing? What's that number? I'm like, oh, I'm in the hospital. I'm dying. Lol. And she's like, the fuck? Lol. And she's like, what's good? I'm like, oh, you know. My vitals were really low. I was dehydrated, like, a lot and shit, you know, life. And she was like, oh, okay. Like, she didn't seem bothered at all. I was like, okay. <laughs> she's like, well, I guess I don't have to give you your gift. I was like, well, I'm going to stay in the hospital for a moment. She's like, wait, are you going to be there for Christmas? I'm like, well, I don't know. If they let me go, yes, I'll be. But if not, I'm not. And she's like... For real, you're going to miss Christmas. <laughs> you're going to be selfish like, and die on Christmas? Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, I thought I would have both of my kids for Christmas, but obviously it's impossible to ask that for fucking once. I'm like, are you being for real right now? Jesus. So legit, I scream at her. I'm like, well, excuse me. I'm going to try to die another day then. I'm sorry my death in inconvenienced you. Exactly. I was like, you could have had, like, a funeral for Christmas, but, you know, don't don't be alerted or anything. Like, I'm good. Like, you know, I'm going to try to get the fuck out before Christmas. Fine. Bye. Jeez. So, yeah. But after that, everything was mostly okay. Like, they got mad at me because I wouldn't eat their fucking nasty-ass food. Dude, hospitals just... have the best potatoes. Like they're powdered potatoes, oh, yeah. but potatoes but, are amazing. But, but for like, some the reason, they're just like shit. My ex girlfriend used to fucking like if she had to go to the hospital, she's like, yeah, well, you know, I might not walk out of this building, but at least I get to eat those potatoes. And I'm just like, well, at least you, you know, at least you're finding the silver lining. <laughs> But like, you know, I like went to the cafeteria where they had cake and shit. So I was like, wow, they're serving me dog food, but they have cake down here. Like, are you serious? I don't know the like I haven't been to I haven't stayed overnight in a hospital for a while. But every time I did, uh, the food is is was all right. It wasn't terrible. Those potatoes make up for a lot of it. Well, you know, I was happy for the cake, but then I realized most of the cake had strawberries in it. And uh, um. fun fact. I'm deadly allergic to strawberries. <laughs> did you eat any of the cake? Like, did you notice before? Oh, I didn't get. Okay. Okay. No, good. I noticed before because there was a big ass strawberry sitting on it. So I was like, ah, oh, well, <laughs> there's strawberries in it. So yeah, I didn't get any cake. Sad Aww. life, man. Was that like the worst part of the drama that you didn't get that cake? No, it's because my fucking mom was a cunt while I was dying. You know, yeah, that would that's pro that probably upset you too. No, I was just like, really, like seriously, like I'm dying, and all you get to like tell me is, "Wow, you're really not gonna be there for Christmas." I was so insulted. I was just like, oh, "Okay, like okay, <laughs> I'm gonna die another day." I guess. Well, I guess the important question, the logical question, asking now is, "How are you feeling? Are you feeling yeah. better?" 
Fun fact, I was in the hospital yesterday. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Cuz um I like my uh left arm is still tingling. Oh like my. I can't move it and everything. It just hurts a lot. So I was like, "The fuck? Like why are you aren't you okay yet?" And like I still have pain where my kidney is. So I was like, "I'm going to go back to the hospital cuz obviously something is up." Yeah. So I went back. They were really nice. They took some pictures of like uh, X-rays. Yes. <laughs> they took some pictures. They took some pictures of my kidneys. <laughs> they took pictures of my kidney. Yes. And then they gave no. me a coloring book and a snack. <laughs> if only. <laughs> <laughs> like they took some blood. They took my pee again. And then I had to warn them that I'm not peeing blood. I'm on my period, <laughs> just oh. in case anybody gets alarmed. We don't need every detail. No, it's because at first she looks at my pee weird. I'm like, oh, I'm not peeing blood. She's like, well, your pee looks really, like, reddish. I'm like, oh, it's on, I'm on my period. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She almost got alarmed for a moment. I was like, I'm sorry, fam. I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry my biological function is affecting your work. <laughs> yeah. So I went back, and they did some tests. I need to go back on Monday because I'm... Like, my kidney infection is still there. So this is an ongoing saga. Yeah. So I can sleep at least. Like, I get really tired. Like, I'm really lightheaded during the day. I I still don't eat much. Like, I've lost, like, a lot of weight. I've lost 20 How? pounds. Jesus Christ. You didn't have 20 pounds to lose in the first place. I know. I was 115. Now I'm at uh, 95. Holy shit. I, wow. That's yeah. not good. <laughs> I know. My boyfriend's like, eat, eat. I'm like, yeah, like I would eat if I would feel hungry. Right. But I like, don't feel hungry right now because my body is too trying. What about like, what about like soup or something? You don't like, you don't think you could like maybe muscle down a can of soup? Well, I would, I really like only two kinds of soup. Uh, three? Yeah. Yes, yeah, three. Like I only like, like, you know, the, um, I think it's called minestrone or something like that. Min minestrone? Yeah, minestrone. I like pea soup and I like chicken noodle. Oh, pea soup. Mm. I know, right? Like, every time when I was little, I would do this really fucked up shit where every time my grandma would make me pea soup, I would pretend to be a hobo asking for soup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but my fucked up mind was like, oh, that's, that's okay to do. As someone who was homeless at one point, I'm offended by that statement. You've greatly offended me. Yeah, oh. but, like, doesn't it remind you of being homeless? <laughs> it really does. They always serve soup, even in the bre even at breakfast. There was always soup. Exactly. So, like, it wouldn't make sense in my head. I was like, I'm homeless now. Give me pea soup, Grandma. Oh, man. One of the ladies at the shelter used to make this amazing pea soup. I wish nope. I could find her so she could make me a thing of pea soup. It was great. So, I, it sounds like you had a pretty eventful Christmas time. That, that sounds like it was fun. Got well, to, you got to stay in a, in a kind of hotel, right? You know, hospitals yeah. are kind of like hotels, I guess. Well, there was that. I went uh, in my boyfriend's family twice because his parents are separated. Oh, gross. So his father's Christmas and his mother's Christmas. So his father's Christmas was really shitty to me because I started feeling really disgustingly sick while I was there. Right. And it wasn't, like, next door. It was, like, a 45 minutes drive. So, I, like, I had to, like, look at him before we even got to heat. I was, like, I'm sorry. 45 minutes. Where is he? Well, um, like, outside the city? We live on the plateau. Yeah. You know, near Sharbrook and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right next to downtown. Like, I'm 15 minutes away from the Foops. From 30 the minutes Foops. walk. Like, I'm really close to, like, downtown. Yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, where it was, it was, like, uh, fuck, I can't I, even remember. I, like, I, it wasn't, like, South Shore, okay? Okay, yeah, I know that I know that area, like, the, the plateau. I know that area well. I, that used to be my territory when I sold weed. I had a, lot of well, had a lot of college girls. Yeah, I know. Those were good times. So, yeah, it was a 45-minute drive. So I had to tell him before we even got into eat to drive me back home. And he was like, are you sure? I was like, well, I'm, I'm really not feeling okay. Like, I feel disgusting. I'm in pain. Like, sitting down makes, like, hurts me. He was like, okay. So he drove me back. He went back there because I told him, it's okay. You can leave me by myself. I'm going to do okay. Right. Like, if anything, your cousin's there. So I'm going to ask him to help me out if anything. He was like, okay, everything's good. 
He's like, if there's anything, don't hesitate to call me. I'll be home, like, a sap. I'm like, okay. So, I get home. He brings me McDonald's before he goes back. Aww. Eat that at least. I'm like, thank you. So, you He's know. He's like, eat that at least. You'll die quicker. <laughs> no, it's because, like, he gets things discount because he used to be, like, a manager there. Oh, and, God. like, his ex-employees still love him. So, like, sometimes they give him free McDonald's and shit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I want free McDonald's. Same. So, yeah. He took care of me. And then uh, I couldn't drink still. I still can't because I'm still on meds. I'm on four different medications right now. Okay, so this is ongoing. You're still in... in yeah. This might be the last episode we ever record. That's no. what you're, That's what you're saying. You might, I'm trying to get better, okay? You might die, Mel. Don't I die. I drink water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get better. I drink water, I swear. I've drank a I, liter of water since we started this podcast. <laughs> I literally woke up and then I looked at my phone and you're like, we can podcast. And then I'm like, yeah, I don't want to podcast. And then I just look at my phone again. I was like, okay, I'll podcast. And then I set everything up. So I'm like, I even had, I didn't have a cup of tea. I didn't have any, any coffee, no breakfast, wake up, cigarette, podcast. That's how dedicated I am to this. Nice. Aren't you lucky to have someone like me to be such a wonderful co-host? To guide you through these wonderful stories. Yes. Oh, yeah. And at his mom's Christmas, you know what was amazing? What was amazing? Strawberries. Again? And kids mixing everything together. <laughs> I couldn't eat. I wouldn't drink. So I was just there. And his mom was like, why aren't you eating? I was like, well, because strawberries. You forgot? She was like, oh, my God, I forgot. I was like, well, thank you. <sighs> So that was that. So we went home early because there was a party at my place because my roommates like threw a party on that day. So we were like, well, we have an excuse to leave. So let's leave. Bye. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. So we brought McDonald on our way back. I literally like got like, you know, a junior McChicken. Yeah. And I put like um, cheddar mac and cheese in it. It was amazing. Oh, my God. That sounds pretty good. Yo, Actually, white cheddar I, 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 I bu- and cheese. I bought, um, I didn't know this about McDonald's, but I bought some McDonald's the other day. I bought two double bacon, uh, yeah, two double bacon cheeseburgers and a fry. And then I brought it home and it was the day I moved. I brought it home and then I, I sat in my new bed, which is amazing. And then I fell asleep, right? So the McDonald's got cold and I woke up and I was like, I don't want to waste the money on this McDonald's. So I ate it. Guess what? McDonald's burgers, cold, still really good. I know. Still really good. I'd never eaten a cold McDonald's hamburger. And I was like, I took one bite. I'm like, this is going to be disgusting. I took one bite. And I'm like, hey, this ain't bad. And I was all happy because I didn't waste McDonald's because that's a sin. Yeah, I know. Let me ask you this. Did you manage to keep down the McDonald's? Yeah. Do you know well, why? Well, I puked Do you know down why? McDonald's oh, the first okay. time. I guess the anti-vomit didn't work. No, it's because my boyfriend was exactly like, he had the exact same thought as you. He was like, well, there's anti-vomiting in it, so you're not going to vomit it. Like, you're actually going to keep be able to keep your food down. So I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. But no, I puked it. It burnt like a son of a bitch. <laughs> it burnt like a son of a bitch. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we'll have to keep everyone updated with your health in the future it sounds like you were in pretty bad shape sounds like you're getting better though so that's always good that's yeah always good. Trying really hard. my boyfriend's there to take care of me which i'm really grateful for because he's been like such a good help oh shout out to my boyfriend for being oh my god you're, you're you're such a faggot i'm ending this show now okay when, bye. We, when we start giving shout outs well, i'm just bitter because i don't have a significant other I just want someone to shout me out on a podcast. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Mel. So, Mel, it's a pretty good episode. Pretty good yeah. episode. Um, are you still writing? Do you still have your blog? Do you want to let people yeah. know? Well, let people know where they can check it out. Well, you can see it with the link down below at flooringenua.wordpress.com. <sighs> So now I have to add a link. Thanks for giving me more work. Yeah, or you can find me on Twitter. My link is on Twitter. It's on my Facebook. And it's on my Instagram because I'm a selfish prick. And I really like to promote myself. Well, you came to the right place for that. 
Yeah. I'm somewhat known as someone who likes to self-promote, but I do it with humor, so I'm not annoying. Yeah, don't worry. If I had merch of myself, I would always shout it out. Like I'd be like, "Yo, buy my shirt. It's amazing." You mean merch that you can find merch like the ones you can find at prowrestlingtees.com/ftitm? Yes, cuz you know, we know exactly that like first thing in the morning merch will get you laid. Oh my god. I'm going to clip that. I'm going to clip that and I'm going to use that at the beginning of all my videos. Thank you, Mel. Like, seriously, you need to buy one of these. Like, it's a lifesaver. Oh, my God. If I could, I would hug you right now. What a wonderful girl. She's not wearing a shirt right now. So for all you lonely men. Yes, I am wearing my first thing in the morning shirt. That's why I'm so attractive today. Oh, my God. She doesn't really have one, but that was very nice of her to say. I do actually have a a medium female shirt if you want it. I'm trying to get rid of it, but I don't know any women. No one wants a small, but thank you. Maybe it's a small. Yeah, that's true. You weigh like twelve pounds. Well, anyway, I'll give it to you, and then you can wear it. And then yeah, your boy, and then your boyfriend will finally love you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> well, this is good. This is my the, the the second step in my return to YouTube. I was gone for a month. I didn't put anything out. Put out a Kayfabe Today podcast the other day. I was worried no one would listen it listen to it, and we almost got two thousand views. So that's nice. pretty good. Uh, and this will be up very very soon so i'll put that out uh in the meantime there's some more videos coming out changing up the content a little bit there's still going to be some gaming stuff but i want to do some longer videos some more involved videos stuff with scripts and other people so that should be fun so check out for that very soon but for mel i'm eric and this has been your very favorite podcast the podcast that helps get you laid the podcast that makes you take your pants off a broski and a hosty bye